Hey everybody. No, no, no. Hey everybody. No. Hey everybody. Mm. Hey everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to start these YouTube videos. For those of you that may not know me, my name is Stephanie Boltez. I am a wife, a makeup artist, a mom, triple threat. Um, I am married to my handsome husband and together we have two beautiful children, Jasenia and Daniel. So today we're going to learn how to create this very green, neutral, brown, smoky eye. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. Follow me everywhere. Don't follow me home. If you guys are interested in knowing how I created this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so we are going to start off with some primer. I use the Benefit for Professionals. Next, using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. It's this little thing. So using my Anastasia brush with a little spoolie on the end. It's brush number 12. I'm going to go ahead and fill my brows. Next, we're going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in the color Ebony. So with the darker shade, I outline my brow and then I fill it in with the lighter shade. I like really brushing through all the hair to make sure that if the hair happens to like move or something. Now we gotta clean them up because you see, you see how this one seems longer than this one? To clean up my brows, I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Creamy Ivory. And then I just use a regular ankle brush. Oh. Much better. Let's keep that out because we're going to use this later. What should we do next? We're going to do our eyes. So using the MAC Prep and Prime, and for this I just use a fluffy brush, pick up some product, and then I just sweep it all over my lid. This brush, I actually really like. It's really, really soft, like the bristles are like... But it's just like a C I I think I got it in like a little five pack at CVS. I don't know. Now the shade that I use with the MAC Prep and Time is the shade Medium Dark. A while back I went on vacation and I got this at a beauty shop because it was on sale. I mean, makeup sale. You gotta get something. So once that's all set, you're gonna go ahead and set it with with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm gonna put my comments in. So we're gonna go for like a green, olive y smoke. This is how I'm gonna do that. I'll put the name below. I don't know it off the top of my head. I actually mix this one and this light one. And that I use for my crease. So go ahead and do your crease. We're going to have accents of gold. So something to kind of go with my earrings plus a pop of green. This is a Stilla eyeshadow. I'm pretty sure the name is Jade. Yes, my little Stilla palette. Place that all over my lid. You know what I'm going to do now? I don't like how it's not so vibrant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my brush. It's a MAC brush. I don't know what number it is. So I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush. Pick up that same green shade. Now you see how that's like coming out just a little bit more vibrant. At first I kind of like to rub it in once I'm like actually packing it on. I just like the pat. So you see how that's like nice and green? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the browns and we're gonna work that into the outer corners. Do the same thing to the other side. I like this look. It's gonna be like kind of earthy with like that pop of gold. So I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin in the shade 2.0. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now what we're gonna do is color correct. Now with the orange shade from Makeup Forever, I'm gonna go ahead and go 
on basically everything I want covered up. So using the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in green, I'm gonna go ahead and go over where I have redness and on the spots where I have pimples. I'm not like super picky about covering everything on my face, but I like for you to be able to see like that I might have a little freckle here and there. So we're gonna go in with our beauty blender and just kind of blend that out. Now I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Light Ivory. I'm just going to use a couple lines on my face. And then we're going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Sand. You can see why everybody's like obsessed with it. Now we're going to put a couple drops on our beauty blender of the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. It's just amazing. Like you just have to try it. So I just put three drops of that on my beauty blender. Now we're going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match. I know I'm not like a cappuccino color. Oh, it makes me look like kind of tan and I like it. Okay, now we're going to go in with our beauty blender and blend that all out. You see how it kind of gives me that nice bright amount of color. So now to set the contour, we're going to use the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Chisel to Perfection in light to medium using my morphe angle brush so with that i'm gonna pick up the color medium cocoa this one right here mm. Ooh, girl. now we're gonna go in and do our jawline now we're gonna go back in with our beauty blender and kind of get those creases out from under my eye so with the Laura Mercier translucent powder, we're going to set our under eye and we're not going to bake because my skin has been really dry. So we're not baking. We're just setting everything. I'm going to carve those cheek bones out. So I have this little thing. It's Essence of Beauty. I really like it for contour on my nose. Like this is the only thing I can use. And I'm just using medium cocoa color from the... Cocoa Contour Palette. We're gonna blend that out. Now we're gonna finish up our eyes with my Sigma E06. It's this little tiny brush right here. And then I'm using the Sigma Wicked Gel Blender. Ooh. I love a wing. I love it. Like I cannot live without a wing. Now, after I do the gel liner, I go in with the MAC Liquid Eyeliner in Boot Black. It's this one. So I just like to go over the gel liner just to give it like a more defined line. Now we're going to clean that up. And the thing with the eyeshadow, we're going to smoke out the bottom and we're going to add just like a little bit of shadow. I use these little double tip applicators. They're supposed to be for nails. I use them to clean up my wing. It's these ones, guys. You see how like the edges are sharp? And then I just use the Maybelline H Rewind and I just clean it up Next we're gonna add some mascara. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So the first time I used this, I love putting like mascara on top of mascara on top of mascara. So the first time I used this, I had a mascara on and then I put this one on and I hate it. I'm just like, why is everybody talking about this? I don't get like what the big deal is. And then I tried it the next day without a mascara underneath. And I get why everybody loves it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back with that brown shade and we are going to just add a little bit to the outer corners. Okay, 
Okay, and now with, I don't know what kind of brush this is, but basically the brush that you use to like sweep a color along the bottom. That's what this is. So using this brush, these brushes that you saw, it was this one and this one, this one. These are beauty professional brushes. And let me tell you that I love them. I am obsessed with these. So we're just gonna brush the brown along the bottom. Yeah, you basically just like brush upward. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that green. And we're gonna tap it on just a smidge, just because it kind of washed out a little. Just pat that in. Next, we're gonna go in with this little Eco Tools brush. We're gonna use the Anastasia Glow Kit and we're gonna use Sunburst. Ah, this really pretty color right here. And we're gonna just do the inner corner of the eyes. Do you see how it gives you that like pop? Ooh, yes. Let's put a little bit of dripping in gold in there. Just for mm. mm. Let's do our lips. So I'm going to go in with this CoverGirl pencil and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this nude color. It is cream. This is another CoverGirl fancy. Mm, mm. We're going to go in with a touch of spice. Brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the highlight blush and add my lashes off camera so I'll be right back. So I added my highlight, my blush, and I finished up with some lashes. All of that will be listed down below. Thank you so much for watching. This was so exciting to do my first video. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.